Hey guys, uh, we're back to shop again. And eventually we're gonna do some videos outside and actually do some running some saws, some splitting some wood, and all that other good stuff. But right now I've got this steel MS390. It actually, um, when I got it in, it didn't have an oil pump in it. Um, but, uh, well, what I've done is I've actually done a lot of modifying and reworking to maybe make this work. You may or may not be able to hear me very well today. It's raining pretty hard outside and on this tin roof right up here above me, it's uh, a little difficult anyway for me to hear. So we're gonna try it anyhow. We'll get over to the beach. What we got on the bench, we got a steel MS390. We'll go ahead and take this handle out of the way. Um, and what we got is when this thing come in, it didn't have an oil pump, it didn't have a drive gear, the seal was hanging out here somewhere. There was a clutch on it, um, but the problem we had was actually right up in here on the crankcase. Let me see if I can't center you on this. Yeah, yeah, we got you now. So right behind here, there is a, uh, a nipple on this part of the crankcase. Well, it's really not a crankcase, but uh, this part of the saw. And it's broke off back there. So the little piece that goes right here that runs from here to there won't exactly work. So what I've done is I have uh, put a brass, little piece of brass in there. Come from a uh, 372 oiler. I took and ground, uh, well, cut it down, made it fit. And I JB welded the brass into the oil pump and I also JB welded it over here on the, the uh, saw itself. That way we can get oil through here. And I put a piece of Tigon fuel line right in there. That way you can take this thing apart and uh, service the saw and all that other stuff. But that's where I'm at right now. <clears throat> this is just a trial thing. I don't know if you can see the JB weld right there. See that, this piece right here and this is still the same. But the JB weld is right behind that. And everything feels pretty tight. I can push the saw around with it, so. The uh, epoxy set up pretty good. So I guess now we're going to uh, install this clutch. Which to install the clutch, uh, it's pretty simple. You take this, it's actually says top. I don't have anything on it. So we put the one that says top out. Take the clutch. And it actually spins on backwards counterclockwise, so. And I'm actually gonna pull the pull rope out so we can have something to hold against. I'm just gonna turn the uh, the clutch on there. And I need to align my my little notch. Uh, see if I can't get you where you can see it. Yeah, I put my finger over it. I gotta align my little notch right down here. So we're gonna take it. We're gonna stick it back on there. Align that little notch. And we're in the oil pump drive gear now. You take your uh, little washer there. And we take these little things right here that like to shoot across the shop at a very high rate of speed. We're gonna take our pliers and put in the little dimple in the crankshaft. Then I'm just gonna take this thing right here and just squeeze that E-clip. Well, works out better if I'm not on camera, but yeah, it is what it is. So we're gonna take the uh, E-clip there Hold it down, grab those pliers. I'm gonna try to center, grab it in the center, and then squeeze. And it don't want to do that. <clears throat> the old 46 I just done done it done it pretty well. There it went. 
So I actually grabbed it on the outside this time. But yeah, it went right on there. Make sure everything spins pretty free. And it does, so that's a plus. And that's pretty much it for uh, the oil pump and what little mod I've done to make it happen. Hey guys, like always, give me that thumbs up if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, push the bell. That way you can get notified when I drop a video. And if you have any comments or questions, you know, just leave it down there in that little comment section there. And I'll do my best to try to help anybody to figure out how to fix what they've got. Um, don't be afraid to ask a stupid question. The only question that's actually stupid is one that you don't ask. Um, but yeah, guys, I appreciate y'all watching.